this segment of the Word tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert images and how to manipulate those images in a document in Word. So we basically go wherever we need to insert an image in the document. We assume now that we have this report and we want to enhance it. So we have gone through, th through these common tools here in the Home tab and now we want to make enhancements to it by inserting various components to this document. So let's say we want to insert, in this case, images to this document. So we go here under Pictures. After we click on Insert, we choose Pictures. And then you can choose a picture from this device, which means your computer. You have to locate the picture or stock images online or from the office or online pictures where basically you have to be connected to the internet to download those pictures. So first we're going to apply an image from this PC. So we go here, we go under either pictures or we go under documents, wherever you have your picture. And let's say I want to use Office 365. Notice you can resize this image by using one of those handles on the corners. Notice there is also a place here for alternate text. So you can type. This is for screen readers and for accessibility purposes. Now that you click on it, Notice you have these tools that show up after we inserted the picture. We have these tools. Those are called contextual tools. It's tools that show up in the context of what you're doing with a particular item from your document. So if you're working on a table, it'll give you the table tools or the contextual tools for tables. If you're using images, these are the contextual uh, tools for pictures. If you're using smart art, you'll get the smart art contextual tools and so on. Now here, you can apply some of those themes. These are very similar to the styles for formatting documents that we learned earlier. You're applying particular themes or styles for formatting a picture. Notice here it's adding the gray edges on the bottom and the right hand side or this is formatting it's slightly different and so on. Notice there is a drop down here you can modify this however you please and you can apply borders you can also apply shadows and reflections and uh, 3D and all that type of stuff if necessary if you prefer with a simple click. I'm going to undo that now, the other thing for you to understand here is, is that uh, you can select here also the position for this uh, tool. So you have the alternate text that we just entered earlier. You can choose to change that from here, but also you can go under position and pick a different position where this should show up in your page. So you could have it in the middle of the page, the right hand side, bottom, and so on. So let's say I want it on the right hand side automatically. Notice it's changing it with a text. Also the positioning. So that's the positioning there, but then also the text wrapping. This is where you can specify whether you, how you want the text to wrap tightly through it, over it, and so on. So I'd suggest that you play with this, but it's one of the functions that's commonly used with uh, an object that you insert in your document. The other content, uh, concept that I wanted you to understand at this stage is also how to crop this picture. So once I have it, of course, we learned earlier how to resize it from these handles. Of course, you can also choose to uh, spin it from this handle here on the top and change the, um, the layout of it or spin it around. Now, notice that under the uh, wrapping of the text, we can actually change it so the text can come, come against it. So if we choose tight, notice we can make the text tightly fit around this image. Now, from here, if we wanted to crop this, just simply double click on it, 
you go under the crop tool here and then you move these handles. You can crop it from one of the handles in the bottom. Let's say I want to bring this up like that and then this down or you could use the corner ones like that as well. And then once you're done with your cropping, you press crop again and that will apply those cropping properties. Now, once you crop it, notice this doesn't look too great. You could go and apply a different theme to it or a different style and then adjust it slightly. And maybe even change the, the positioning of it and so on. So basically, that's how it works for any objects that you insert whether from the web or from your computer or any of those objects that you'll insert from here and how you modify those objects. Remember also one other thing under the image here, you can change and remove the background if you want it, you can change the color, you can add artistic effects and things of that nature by applying these tools here in the color area. Now, inserting images from other locations, so if we click here on Insert, we go under Pictures and then Stock Images, this is going to connect online and it's going to give us stock images, I guess, from Microsoft in this case. At this point, you'll select the image that you'd prefer to utilize in your document or in your report, press Insert, and then further modify it using the tools that I explained just a moment ago. And then under insert here, pictures from online, of course you have to be connected to the internet here, and then you choose, this is searching online, like uh, using Bing. Simply type what you want to search for, Click on the image that you prefer, insert it, and then modify it. Notice here it's also giving us um, where it was taken, this image from, where it was downloaded from, and things of that nature uh, to give credit to it.